For our header, aside, and footer includes, we're going to want to set up a new template group. Conventionally, you may call this folder ink or includes or um, different other file naming conventions. We're just going to call it embeds because that is also the term that Expression Engine uses to refer to what these are. So go ahead and submit, create this new template group. Notice that it created an index embeds for us, which we're not going to use. Um, but we'll go ahead and create a new template. And we're going to name this template dot header. And the reason we use dot is that in Expression Engine, when you name a template file and you precede it by a period or a dot, it prevents the user from being able to access this page directly. And this is helpful because our header file that we're creating here is not going to include a full page that we would ever really want somebody to see outside of the context of being embedded on another page. So, for that reason, we don't want somebody to see this directly, and it's a nice little added feature in Expression Engine that you could do to prevent your content from being viewed in a way that you didn't control or set up yourself. So, we'll go ahead and create this as a web page. We'll just click Create, and we'll go through the process and also create a dot footer and a dot aside. Now that we have these three files created, we can go back to our home and start slicing it up and pasting it into these embeds.